He's a man capable of the extraordinary. The extraterrestrial. Oh, can you believe that? A moment of magic from the monogram maestro. He's won more Grand Slams and more ATP World Tour titles than any other player. Roger Federer can do just about anything with a tennis racket. Having recorded his 250th Grand Slam match victory last week in Melbourne, there is no disputing he has been very special for a very long time. Mixing style with substance, like few other elite sportsmen. But his secret is simple. I think a lot of grit, really. Um, you know, just uh, making sure you work hard day in, day out, uh, that you, the lifestyle is accordingly to uh, a professional and the champion that you, you never forget, uh, you know, what you want to achieve. You do learn a lot and you actually are forced to learn quick, which I think is a good thing as well. Roger acquired all his experience last summer when he came back from a set down to beat Andy Murray in the final of Wimbledon. As he claimed his 17th career Grand Slam title, he sealed the return to number one. Massive achievement, a massive achievement. And it just showed that Federer is, is a player that, that can move with the punches, that, that he can uh, change his game as, as the conditions dictate. And he's a master of that art. We've seen him go from plan A to plan B to plan C, maybe back to plan A during the course of the match many, many times. But, but uh, the Wimbledon final is a perfect example. I was able to stay calm and, and, and push forward and uh, really believe that the finish line was still a long way away. But if I did the right things, all of a sudden it was going to come, come very close to me. And I had the, the perfect mindset, um, especially in the atmosphere that we were in with the, the British crowd, knowing how much they wanted Andy to win some and some wanted me to win. I think I handled that really well and I think that what made me also play so, so well. A lot of players tend to reach their peak, maybe 27, 28. Roger's 31 now. And to have got back that number one position uh, by, by winning Wimbledon was just a fantastic achievement. Starting the year second in the Emirates ATP rankings, Federer continues to set the very highest standards. However, his work away from the court has also made a major impact. The way that he represents tennis and the way that he talks so eloquently in so many languages seems to me absolutely tremendous. You look at his role within the ATP, he really cares about it. He, he wants to do things that are right for tennis and I'm not sure that tennis has ever had a, a better ambassador, uh, to be honest. He's, um, not only has he been magnificent on the court, he's been fantastic off it. For me it's very important to leave the game better off. Um, we had a great platform when we came on, onto the tour. It's important that uh, you know, the players have a good image, um, that uh, kids and juniors can look up to us and say, I want to maybe be like him, um, because that was very important for me when I was coming up and about. If he's admired the world over, there is much Roger Federer still wants to achieve. Hand in hand with his talent, comes a fanatical attention to detail. Nothing is ever left to chance. One of the great things about Rogers is his fitness record, um, extraordinary fitness record. I think the way he plays helps that a lot. He's, um, he's such an attacking player that he goes for his shots. I remember asking Roger about his schedule as well, and he said he, he plans it 18 months in advance, and uh, he's certainly not thinking of anything other than playing at the top. I hope I can uh, be fresh and, uh, you know, as motivated as I have been. Uh, for me, there's no doubt about it. i just got to make sure the scheduling uh, works accordingly. Where I stand right now, it's um, all the highest goals you can imagine that uh, I compete for those. It's about maintaining the good level of play I've showed in over the last few years. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, the dramatic conclusion down under with the best of the action from the final of the Australian Open. 
we speak to French star Richard Gasquet, back in the top 10 and determined to prove his best is still to come. And don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.